these are all our uh, radio um, panels and these are special ones made uh, primarily for a Boeing uh, 727 where they have a NAV1 COM1 one on one radio or both individually tunable then NAV2 and COM2 on that one and this one is the uh, transponder and then we have an ADF1 and ADF2 now go back to the tuning of them this uh, tunes across the proper range from 108 up through to 117 uh, and the top knob there's actually three layers of knobs there. The top two in this particular instance are joined together. Uh, in the real aeroplane the, the top one is actually a volume control. But we can't do volume control on this so we uh, have just joined these two together. And you can see there they jump in uh, 5 kilohertz steps. And for the comm radio the bottom one of course is there. And it tunes over the proper range from 118 up through to 136. And the top one jumps in, um, goes from 0.02 to 570. Of course, NAV2 does exactly the same thing. The transponder, we have, um, we can change this number here, it just goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and back to 0 again. There's an ident button which you can push. Uh, and the top one does the other one. Through, they all go zero, zero to seven. Um, then we have this one and this one. Test button doesn't do anything. On the ADF, uh, the range it goes from uh, very, very high up around the 1200 hertz or 1700 hertz or some. I can't remember what it is. It goes quite high. And of course the top knob does the, the second two digits. So you've got 1397.6 kilohertz. And this one is set on whatever you want to do. It's 386.4. Um, you might have a 386 decimal zero as the setting for a particular um, uh, beacon. So you can set it there. These knobs and switches on these don't do anything for us at the moment. Um, apart from this ident switch, which you can push, and it sends a signal to our, um, our, our circuit. But the other ones um, are just for you to do whatever you want to do with them, really. The, the engraving in the background um, will light up when you put a little white LED behind them, and we've drilled little sockets and things in the back, or little holes and detents, so you can light them up, and they light up quite rather nicely.